Welcome back everybody. It's been said that breakfast is the most important meal of the day and I've got a new one for you. I call it a green chili chorizo breakfast toaster. First things first, chorizo, Mexican sausage. If I can give a recommendation, it is to get some good chorizo from a local butcher or make your own like we do with Wild Game, but avoid those tubed chorizos that you find in the store that have all kinds of stuff in there. You want the flavor, but perhaps you want to avoid all those unsavory cuts of meat. We're going to do these sandwiches on Texas toast. Each package is roughly a pound, so we'll divide this out into a pound patty that is somewhere between a quarter, third pound. If you've never had chorizo before, it's a very greasy pork sausage traditionally with spices that we would consider to be Mexican. Spices could include salt, pepper, garlic, chili powder, paprika, and all of that goodness. I'm gonna end up with something that looks a little bit like that. Blackstone Pro Series up around medium, medium high. The chorizo is really greasy, so I don't need a lot of oil, but I'm still gonna put a light coating because I want that griddle to be slick and uniform. Look at that. I'm not gonna put seasoning on the patties because as you can see, chorizo is already heavily seasoned straight from the butcher shop. There's all kinds of flavor in there. First things first, I have some of my Pueblo green chilies that I got at the Pueblo Chili and Frijoles Festival last summer. These are beautiful. Just thaw them out of the freezer. Of course, when you're doing a breakfast sandwich, there's nothing like green chili. Give me a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about roasted green chili. Thick cut Texas toast. I've loved Texas toast for breakfast sandwiches. I remember Sonic, I haven't been to Sonic in a while, but I remember about 20 years ago getting these breakfast toaster sandwiches at Sonic. Incredible because they had that big old Texas toast. Look how thick and beautiful that bread is. Put a little mayo on that bread so we can toast it up. Mayo always does an excellent job of toasting your bread. I'm gonna use my spatulas and I'm gonna press those patties to assure that we get a really good sear. I've always loved that about flat top cooking. You don't need to worry about flare ups or anything crazy like you get with an open grated grill. And in for the flip. Whoa, look at that sear. Everything's cooking away really nice. I'm gonna come over to this side. I'm gonna turn this burner down and turn this burner off all together. Get my Blackstone egg rings. I love using these when I make eggs for sandwiches because they give you a uniform round egg. I always like to use a little non-stick spray. They're silicone, they're non-stick, but it just helps. Grab my eggs. Crack an egg into each egg ring. We're not seasoning the chorizo, but I definitely want to season my eggs. A little essential blend, salt, pepper, garlic. Ooh, just what the doctor ordered. Time for cheese. Today I have smokehouse cheddar and pepper jack. Go down with our cheese. First, the smokehouse cheddar. Second, pepper jack. And I'm gonna go straight down with my green chili. Roasted, it smells so good. If you haven't seen any of my videos from the Pueblo Chili and Frijoles Festival, go back here in the archives of Let's Give It a Try. Lots of videos filmed in and around the Pueblo Chili Festival. Pull my egg rings. We want to have a soft, runny yolk. I'm going to put those on top of my green chilies. Hopefully you're picking up what I'm putting down. Down with that Texas toast and a light coating of mayo. Roasted green chili time. Let's check our bread. That's all I want. Visions of golden brown deliciousness. It's time to pull that Texas toast. I'm gonna to leave the extra beautiful golden color on the outside. A little bit of mayo on the bottom. Time to pick up those gorgeous patties. Oh, look at those layers of goodness. I wish you could be here. The smell is mesmerizing. Oh, yes. Oh, man. And I think everybody's gonna love a little bit of cilantro on top of that beautiful 
egg yolk, the show stack of bread. I saved the most pretty pieces for the top. Looks pretty darn delicious, doesn't it? I will admit, we had a windstorm move in in the middle of the last few minutes. My egg isn't exactly runny anymore. Thankfully, we got that shot. It's time to give it a try. I'm gonna go in for one last bite. Hoo-wee! Mm. Texas toast. If you haven't tried it for a burger yet, you gotta do it. I also love it on uh, bacon burgers, on barbecued bacon burgers. Something about Texas toast with barbecue sauce and a bacon cheeseburger. Killer. So Texas toast, take your burger game to a whole new level. And today we did it for breakfast. Thanks for watching everybody. Leave me a thumbs up and a comment. And please check out all of the shows here on the Blackstone Network. Until next time, this is Todd. I'm saying praise the Lord and pass the green chili chorizo breakfast toaster.